what's your problem? You've heard people ask that. What's your problem? You've asked people that. Well, I'm asking you that. What is your problem? What is the problem you're dealing with right now? What is the problem that has plagued you that you've had to overcome maybe all your life? You've had to deal with this thing and it's caused you embarrassment, grief, and it's real. And me even asking you about that problem makes you really uncomfortable. Well, so many of us have some sort of a mess in our story, something we're not proud of or something we regret. And I want to help you turn your mess into a message to connect your personal story to your mission story. If you are a leader with a mission or a cause or a message that you want to share, but even if it's simply personal, I want to help you turn your mess into a message. So what do we mean by problems? Problems in a story or in a movie are the event or the situation that jarred and shook our hero. And they can happen on so many different levels. Sometimes it's better to show, not tell. So I just refer you briefly to the story of Naomi and Ruth. Naomi, if you followed our videos so far, she was a woman and she left her, her land and moved to a foreign country because of a famine. And the story picks up by saying, now Elimelech, Naomi's husband, died. And she was left with her two sons. They married Moabite women, one named Orpah and the other Ruth. And after they had lived there about 10 years, both Malon and Kilion also died. And Naomi was left without her two sons and her husband. Now, this is a painful, painful story. And it all happens in the first five verses of the, the book of Ruth. And, and so, you know, life can deal us such huge tra tragedies on so many levels. It can happen in your financial life. You may suffer a, a business loss or bankruptcy. It can happen to your health. It can happen in your love life. And that heartbreak is something maybe you never quite get over. You might move on from it and move past it, but it's, it's kind of like a, a, a death and, and, and it's six feet under the ground. And if somebody came in with a backhoe, they'd find, you know, the evidence of it all that, that pain is still there for you. And so wherever it may have happened in your life, I want to help you kind of redeem it and uh, maybe let God redeem it. But for you to, to revisit your story and your problems with this awareness that the problems are unavoidable. Just every single person in the world has them or has had them. And it doesn't matter how good they look, how you know pretty or handsome or rich or comfortable they seem to be, what celebrity status they may have or money. It doesn't matter. If you scratch just below the surface, you will find tremendous pain there. And, and really, problems just being you're human. I mean, problems are what makes you human. I mean, you, you're on this earth, you know, without, without problems, you know, you're, you're a cartoon character, you're a toy doll or action figure. But even in the story of Barbie, even in that movie, if you've seen it, you know, that at various points, her life seems so perfect and you can't relate to it. It's just that Ken and Barbie thing. However, as life unfolds for all of us, the humanity is when we shed tears and we suffer loss and indignity and heartbreak, disappointment. So they, problems are not anything to be embarrassed of or ashamed of. They are, you know, proves that we're human. And you know what else? They can qualify you. They can qualify you to speak into someone's life or to be there for somebody because somehow what you've been through gives you such an empathy and it kind of qualifies you in their eyes because you too have been crushed. You too have suffered loss. And when they hear your story, they feel like you might be safe. You don't have to go to movies. You don't have to, you know, go to celebrities. You can go to my mom. Here's my mom, my mom at a young age, she's holding somebody's kid. I don't know who that is. Might be my cousin, Terry. She was blonde. And, um, but my mom has one of her own kids in, in there. And, uh, you know, she had six. She lost her firstborn. My big sister, when my sister was only 22. 
And then she lost her second born. My, my brother took his life when he was 32. That's a lot of loss. And then she lost my father tragically and violently. And there was plenty of pain in between. And yet that smile you see on her face, she had it all her life. She had such a profound sort of resilience. Uh, she had such a um, inspiring way about her. People loved her and um, looked up to her, even though she was small. And uh, her faith was real. And it was just proven by what she persevered and endured. And um, it's why she's one of my heroes. And it's not because of her fame or her money or anything else. It was just because of the way she lived her life and what she overcame. And it tells me I can overcome things too. So that can happen for you as you go through things and as you work through it and you survive it all. Sharing your story, whether it's personally with a friend or if you represent a, a cause or an organization or a ministry or even a business, and you tell your story and how somehow what you've experienced, the, the pain and the problems and the things you've overcome, somehow when they connect to the work you do, it's powerful stuff. So don't bury your problems. Don't be embarrassed of them. Don't be ashamed. Somehow know that they are what makes somebody feel like maybe you get it because you do. So uh, I'd love to know what your thoughts are. I'd love you to leave a comment here. It would mean the world to me if you would leave a comment, just any thought that you might have. Feel free to reach out to me as well at, at coaching at getyourbusinessdone.com. And um, I just really look forward to being in touch with you, to hearing your story. I hope that you will be inspired by some of these stories and, and live your story and inspire others with yours. Take care and uh, God bless. Bye-bye.